is the talk show of for the kids. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to this exclusive interview with my, my dad, my one and only dad himself, Mr. Anand Saha. Glad to be here. Let's go. Do you have to go all out in this interview? Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, yeah. Ah, uh, uh, action! So, how did it feel to become a cricketer in the 2000s? Being a cricketer in the 2000s, yeah, that's a good question. Um, you know, at that time there was not so much of TV, there was no IPL. So being a cricketer, you have to be really good to play, to uh, be a good cricketer because there wasn't much club competition happening. Now with IPL and so many other T20 leagues, it's very easy for someone to showcase his talent and get into the right But that days it was, uh, it was, you know, you have to be very good to come into the Indian cricket team. You have to go through the whole nine yards as you call it and go through the rigors and the bungee trophy and everything and then finally you can make it to the game. So which team are you playing for in that crooked league that you played? I only used to play for my local cricket team, you know, and uh, I used to play for my college cricket team as well. My school cricket team, I played for, my, I represented my school in the under 16 and the under 19 cricket association of Bengal tournaments. Yeah. And I was a, also the captain of my cognizant Bangalore cricket team for some time. So was the cognizant cricket league you played in? No, every cognizant team has its own, uh, every cognizant location has its own team. And every year in the weekend before Christmas, we used to have uh, a cricket league for Pound or Pit It used to happen in Chennai, I played in Hyderabad and Calcutta. So teams from all over the other locations used to come to that location. And it used to be a very good fun for weekend. This was very awesome. And what was the funniest thing you've seen in your life? Funniest thing that I've seen in my life? But I'm pretty much sure I, I would have. Wow, a little bit just 
told me that you peed, peed in your bed when you were eight. That is strong research. Wow. That's true. Number five. What's the cool? Coolest book that I've ever read? Yeah! Coolest book? I'm not much of a book reader, honestly. But I think I read uh, Sachin's autobiography. Playing it my way. Wait, uh, what autobiography was it? It's uh, Sachin Tendulkar, India's finest cricketer. Wow! He's, he's not a very Wow! What's your favorite 90s song? What is that? What's your favorite 90s song? Favorite 90s song? There's so many songs actually. It's not necessarily a 90s song. I'm, I'm a movie person. I have listened to music all my life. Different singers, Kishore Kumar, Mohammad Rafi, Kumar Sanu, Nidharan, Sonu Nigam, Tawarijit Singh. But if you talk about my 90s, uh, probably, uh, you know, Madhuri Dixit song, Ek Do Teen, Chaar Paat, Chhe Saat Aat Na, Das Se Gyaara, Bara Tera. Wow, so, well, is that song from the movie Boggy? No, it's not from Boggy. Boggy 2 is a remix of that song, the original movie is from Teja. So would you rather spend a day on a car <laughs> or spend it in a room full of spiders? <laughs> would you rather what? Spend a day alone in a car or spend one minute in the room full of spiders? Hmm. All day in a car and uh, or one minute in a room full of spiders? One. I would actually have none of these either. But if you put in you know, a sword on my neck and say, No, you have to answer something, I'll probably go with one minute in a room full of spiders. You because know, spiders really don't, I mean, as long as spiders don't really scare me much. I hope it's a wrong one. Household spiders you're talking about. Yeah, I'm talking about household ones. And you really must pick an answer. Number eight. Who do you think will win in a fight? A penguin and a shark or a, or a fish and dolphins? So the penguin and the shark are in one team? Yes, and fish and dolphins are in the other team. Penguin and shark? Ooh, that's a good combination. The penguin and the shark. Especially the dolphins. The dolphins are supposed to, the penguins and the dolphins are supposed to be the, you know, the the cooler of the three animals, right? <laughs> so um, maybe the sharks are good because you know the sharks have jaws and dolphins only have teeth. They have only teeth, only have teeth. But you know they're not really that attacking, right? Ah, <laughs> that's crazy. I, <clears throat> I think fish and dolphins would win. You know why? Why? I, rec I recently read a friend on a dolphin. Dolphins can easily beat sharks. Yes, can they? Oh, that's good. Yeah, from that school bus book. Oh, okay. I didn't know that the dolphin could beat sharks. I thought sharks and sharks are very vicious. But they've got these dangerous teeth. I they know, can right? Really. I'm going to go to tax in 1960. Okay. So, every human has its own rule. rule. What was your role in childhood before before you were nine years old? My role in childhood? Okay. Hmm. Before you were nine. Before I was nine. So I was the youngest of the kids. So I was really a spoiled one. You know, I used to get everything I wish for. And spoiled? Yeah, kind um, of. When I'm an adult, you can know how to get what, what you want for yourself. True. I can, but when you're a, when we are like the youngest of the of all your brothers and sisters, you kind of are loved, uh, you know, everybody loves you a lot. So I was, uh, I mean, the, the downside of being a smallest of all the kids is that you have to do all the chores. So 
So if anyone wants to buy something, a biscuit, they will say, okay, go and bring it. They'll give me the money and say, go to the shop, get it done. So it's probably that was my role uh, when somebody asked me to go and bring out something. Because I'm the youngest, so I really can't protest. You know, that's the funny side of it. That's the funny side. I know, right? So, which song would you listen to? Sleep like a baby tonight? Or, it's don't vibes. It's... Which one was that 2016? Yeah, I like uh, Shakira. I want to say hips from life. Wow, pretty sense. It advanced. Because I know you like Shakira. Anyways, what's your, what was your favorite cartoon character in childhood? Oh, my favorite cartoon character in childhood? It has to be. Uncle School! He was like the version of Donald Duck, but the character name was Uncle Scrooge. He was a miser. He was so rich, and he, he was his... he wouldn't spend any money. Yes. I know what miners do. Yes, so he... his name was Uncle Scrooge. He was my favorite character. <laughs> well, who do you think would win? Soccer match in Milan or Rosenberg? Rosenberg. Rosenberg, Rosenberg is, is a Denmark, right? It's in Norway. It's in Norway. Hmm. I think Milan because they're a better team and much better players. So uh, I yeah. think they're a bigger club, right? So. Yep. I agree. So. Also, uh, suppose you were Erling Haaland, you were on Loris and Dortmund, and I was Sergio Ramos from Real Madrid. Who do you think will win a dodgeball match? Ramos or Haaland? I think it'll be Ramos. Why? He thinks Because the crowd will say, Vamos, Ramos! Vamos, Ramos! Ha 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 That's pretty funny! Vamos, Ramos! Yeah. Anyways, goodbye! I hope you enjoyed this interview! I surely did. I love coming on that kids' host show. I had a really nice time. Thank you for inviting me. You're welcome.